Now the charter plane has delivered hundreds of migrants from Texas to the state of Illinois. The plane landed in Rockford this time before passengers were put onto buses to multiple locations. Judy Wang is live at the city's migrant landing zone with the latest. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. It's quiet now, but for hours this morning, we saw large groups of migrants here and it appeared that they were waiting to find out where they could end up next. Hours after that plane landed in Rockford, Mayor Brandon Johnson repeated his calls for federal help to help address this crisis. That plane that landed in Rockford was the second one chartered by the state of Texas to bring migrants to Chicago. It remains unclear exactly how many migrants who were aboard the private plane have made it to Chicago. Some of them showed up at Polk and Desplaines, the city's designated landing zone, where as of this morning, more than 300 asylum seekers were awaiting placement. Well, what we have is clearly, uh, clearly an international and federal crisis that local governments are being asked to subsidize. And this is unsustainable. Appearing Sunday on Face the Nation, Mayor Brandon Johnson called Texas Governor Greg Abbott's actions a very dangerous task and a matter of national security. What we have attempted to do um, is to create structure and some coordination around this, this humanitarian crisis. And unfortunately, uh, the governor of Abbott, the governor of Texas, Governor Abbott, um, is determined to continue to sow seeds of chaos. Rockford officials say they were given limited notice about the plane, which arrived from San Antonio at about 1 a.m. with 355 passengers. The mayor says the migrants boarded buses, also chartered by the state of Texas, that were supposed to head to Chicago's landing zone. A city of Chicago spokesperson tells us the buses dropped off migrants in various suburbs and the migrants made their way into the city. Another Texas charter plane from El Paso landed at O'Hare in December with 120 migrants on board. The flights are Governor Abbott's way of getting around a new city ordinance that allows the city to impound rogue buses and to sue bus operators. The law requires bus companies to give the city advance notice and to drop off migrants during designated hours in the landing zone. Putting people on airplanes mm -hmm. and dropping them off in the city of Chicago and Denver and New York without any coordination, without a manifest. I don't know how many federal laws or aviation laws he could be violating, but this type of chaos is not what's needed in this moment. A spokesperson for OEMC says it is unknown how many buses dropped off migrants in the suburbs on Sunday, and that includes those uh, coming from Rockford's airport. The city does not expect any chartered buses here today. In the West Loop, Judy Wang, WGN News.